This is Bug Padder Dust. Thanks for joining me for episode 13 of my Wolves playthrough on Rimworld. Alright, it's all calm. I've come to a decision. I'm going to capture these guys. Not all of them. But uh, what I've done is I've stripped them of their weapons. Apart from Alistair, who, who is uh, having a mental break and I can't do anything with at the moment anyway. And um, what I'll do is I will arm them if we get, uh, if we get any raids come in. If we don't get any raids come in. And they turn traitor. We don't have any weapons to turn traitor with. That's going to be easy peasy. We're not going to have any mistakes like poor old Bapkins. Blessed his soul. Rest his soul even. Uh, from the last lot. And um, there's a couple of some really nice characters in here that uh, I could do with taking. Undergrounder. Really good at medical. Quite nice at shooting. Huber. Nervous and tough. I'll take that. That's pretty good. Uh, not Zhang. Uh, Sammy. Mm, Mm, yeah, fast learner's really good, especially burning, burning passion as well. That's quite nice. I could, I could deal with that. Chris, sadly, as a couple of people pointed out, well spotted, is not long for this world with a destroyed stomach. Fortunately, he was the one I probably wouldn't have taken on. This doesn't sit without ideology. Neurotic and jealous is just a pain in the neck, frankly. So Chris is probably going to go now. A couple of people did say. Well, you could harvest his lungs or something. I could take his right lung, his left lung is damaged. The thing is, as soon as I operate on him, the rest of them are going to turn nasty, obviously. I know I would. So that that's going to push up the agenda um, a little, somewhat. And I don't want to do that just yet. I want to get my 2p of hard work out of them first. I noticed that the dryad has uh, it's dropped again. That's annoying. I need to get uh, Zhang to spend more time pruning the tree rather than doing other really important stuff. <laughs> I'm not, not feeling this is worth it, quite frankly, but Zhang is busy like doing crafty stuff. So if we can get somebody from one of this lot who's good at crafting, then uh, we can sort of take that pressure off Zhang. So crafting three, crafting three, crafting two, crafting... Yeah, they're all a bit rubbish at crafting, aren't they? What about Alistair? No. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, today what we're going to do is we are going to go and have a bash at this Worshipful Village quest, which is going to be very interesting. I've not done it before, um, so I'll be keen to see how that goes. Okay, well, it's taken a while, but Enyo has now come over to join us, so good stuff Enyo. Enyo is 21, he is a digger, he's undergrounder, he's beautiful, he's kind. I like this, this is nice. He's just kind of chill kind of chap. And uh, he's very good at mining and construction, which is extremely useful. In fact, he's undergrounder as well. I need to keep an eye on that. He can easily get debuffs being outside for too long. But um, we can just get him to start doing some kind of strip mining. Because that's what he's good at. Maybe down here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to rename him. And the next person up to get their name in the game is Coffee. 20th Coffee Mark. So, uh, well done Coffee. Welcome to the game. And here is your character. If you would like your name in the game, come and join the Discord and, uh, and be relatively active. And we'll add your name to the list that's going on in the main channel. So there we go. Welcome. I'm going to get him set up and uh, we'll go from there. I see. So I <laughs> just finished my, finishing my kill tunnel and um, I've got a boom light walking all the way through it. Yeah, I think his next one that he hits, which is the one he's standing on, is going to blow him up. So I need to get coffee out of the way. That's kind of frustrating. Very frustrating fact. What I need to do is make this my home zone uh, so we can put out fires and stuff because it is going to happen. It's going to be interesting. Let's watch this. I'm predicting. I'm predicting a riot. Oh. Okay. Hmm. That makes it even worse, actually, because it means that when he, when he bleeds out, he's going to blow up. Yeah, that's not ideal. Uh, how's your... I'll let you finish what you're doing there. Um... Let's keep an eye on that. He's going to wreck these uh, these traps, isn't he? Beautiful. And there we go. Contained explosion, though. No? Everything took damage. Come on, everybody. Put the traps. Mm, watch out for the traps. Ah, this is frustrating. <laughs> Oh well, never mind. It is what it is. Let's stick that there and we'll put that on a disallow for now. Alright, this is big. We finished gun turrets. That's that's huge, quite frankly. Oh, amazing. Oop. Hey, what was that? Uh, is that you or again? Oh, not again, man. That's the second time he's done it recently. We had to lock him up previously. He's not best pleased, Yura. What's wrong with him? Not much, really. Wow, okay. 
Oh, I have to give him another debuff for being locked up. Uh, Huber's finished his tantrum. Anyway, where was I? Yes. So we've got gun turrets now, which is amazing. Which means that we get the turret, which is superb. We need to do gas operation, which gives us heavy SMGs. And then finally, not finally, finally. Ah, oh, no, we've got to do microelectronics to get... Oh, no, that's terrible. 6,000. Oh, oh, no. Horrible. Okay. Does that mean we have to do... Yeah, we've got to do that anyway, so... Ooh. All right. I'm tempted to do another couple of these things before I start on that, but I think gas operation, I can make a couple of heavy SMGs would be amazing. And chain shotty is always useful, so I think I'll do that first. Or maybe prosthetics. Is prosthetics a better use of my time? Then I can make, then I can make an arm for Yura. Mm. I think prosthetics would be quite useful, actually. We have we have a sentry gun. We have the ability to do sentry guns, so that's pretty good. Hundred steel three components. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Oh, I quite like that. Sentry guns. Hmm. Where do I put them? Got them. Don't know where to put them. All right. All right. So I think the time has come for me to take these guys prisoner. We make. I was just trying to get as much done as I could while I've got lots and lots of hands. So we managed to get some um, some really nice flooring down here and make the barracks very impressive, which is which is great because everybody gets some nice buffs from that. You know, I mean, Q Ray's happy as Larry. <laughs> He's just doing his thing. Although very impressive barrack to him is not a big deal. It's just I mean, have interest. Who is it a big deal to? Very impressive dining room five. Oh, f right, barracks is one. And, yeah, okay. Anyway, so Chris has snapped. He hasn't got a stomach, so I can imagine he's probably a little bit grumpy. He can eat, though, which I find interesting. But anyway, so he's going to go around and insult uh, Hyper. I'm not having that. So what I'm going to do is get everybody together, because as soon as I try and arrest Chris, it's going to kick off basically. So I'm going to put everybody in this small area here. I'm going to draft them and put them all in there. So when I arrest Chris and they turn against me, I think this door will hold them. And if it doesn't, well, it's a choke point and I can smack them. If I kill them, I kill them. If I can capture them, I'll capture the ones that I want, obviously. Alistair still has a knife, so let's get him to drop that in advance. All right. Right, let's get everyone... Actually, let's get these guys going there. All right, so Hyper's picking up a couple of debuffs. So q -ray, Mr. Q-Ray, who's always got 100% arrest ability, he's going to arrest Chris. Now, before I do that, let's just get everyone gathered. Get them here. Everybody in from the fields, so we know what we're doing. It's going to be on our clock, so let's do this properly. Right, q -ray. Arrest Chris. As soon as he does that, these guys are going to snap. So let's get these chaps up here. In fact, everybody here is going to come up to here now. Oh, they're angered, but not taking action. Ooh. That's interesting. I thought it turned them automatically against us. Huh, okay. All right, fine. In that case, we can we can keep using them for now. But this is the plan I'm going to use um, when it when the time comes. Oh, do I let him go? What's Chris is? It's not saying that Chris is broken at all. What's he? What's wrong with him? Hang on. He's just wandering around now in a huff. Right, okay. So everyone's on a minus 12 tip now. That's fine, whatever. Not the mad weapons, what are they going to do about it? That's it? Oh, is he leaving? Is he leaving? It looks like... Oh. Who needs treatment? Yora. Oh, what? Wait a minute. It is Yora. Athsma? Have you ever seen somebody um, try and punch a uh, mega sloth to death? <laughs> well, look no further. <laughs> I'm going to help with, with gunfire, but I'm not getting my, my melee troops involved. They can just stand and watch. 
I mean, not a scratch. Not a scratch. These guys are good. Not a scratch. I'm quite impressed with that. Let's try and repeat. <laughs> There's another Megsloth on the map somewhere. Oh, so, oh should we try it with a Rhino? <laughs> oh, he's up there. Ah, it's just it's too far. It's too far. It's five o'clock at night. Everyone's getting a bit tetchy. Anyway, that was quite... that amused me. So, when I said this map was metal constrained, I, I, I guess... I guess each map has a perhaps a minimum and a maximum amount of metal that they can have. Most of it is basically concentrated here, as we can see. I mean, these seams go really deep. I mean, this was out here, so this is obviously a very deep metal seam. I mean, if I double click it, I've got 2,000 steel just here. I know it's not a lot, but I've got potentially a bunch down here and maybe some in here as well. So I'm all right for metal. I think choosing to stay put was probably the right thing to do. Uh, we shall see. But uh, but yeah, so I think we've got a lot up here. It just needs to be collected and, and picked up, basically. But it's really nice having so many extra hands. I'm going to miss them. Okay, the time has come. It's seven in the morning. We're going to go on a quest now. Uh, we're going to go and visit the village, the Worshipful Village. Now, we can go on it and we can hack it, I guess. But as soon as we touch it, they're going to attack. I don't know how many there are, but this is potentially could be quite tricky <laughs> so we shall see I'm going to call everyone together now I can't take these guys with me anyway so I'm going to leave Elise and probably I need to leave a melee fighter behind it's going to have to be I think hyper probably Elise and hyper because if these guys turn I've got the wolves which will help so I can use the, the wolves to sort of defend with um but yeah, I don't know what their intentions are, so we shall see. Meanwhile, I'm going to need melee fighters with me to, for the tribals, because I don't know what to expect. Um, this is quite tricky to decide. Quite tricky. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll back it up a little bit. I'm going to go and go on a uh, trade run. I've got a lot of horses, a lot of goats. These things breed like wildfire and donkeys and stuff. I'm going to go down to the town here. I'll try and get some better weapons. I think us using great bows, we get a plus for using great bows due to ideology, but we need we need guns. Um, so I'm going to try and get a couple more guns and then, then I'll go and do the quest. So for now, let's get a caravan together and we'll be off. Okay, the caravan's arrived. This clearly isn't the place to buy weapons because in terms of weapons, they have only got the auto pistol and the pump shotgun that they had last time. I'm pretty sure they've restocked by now, so if that's the best we can expect, it's not ideal. It's not the place to come to buy guns, which is a shame. But we have sold an awful lot. I'm tempted to buy both of those. I think they're going to come in useful. They have two shots each, and I think in a pinch they will help us out. I was considering getting the jump pack, but without chem fuel, jump packs are only good for five uses, and then they can't be refueled. And I don't have chem fuel to research yet. Well, I've not researched chem fuel yet. So I need to find somewhere else to go to buy. Oh. Oh, I see. They run out of cash as well. Oh, they're useless, aren't they? <laughs> For the sake. Um. Uh, okay. Puh. That's all right. What I've done, I didn't spot this. They got synth thread in stock. So I'm gonna buy eighty. I'll make a duster out of synth thread. Very nice. Very very good strong and it insulates mm, yes definitely we'll take that so they've got enough to cover the uh, transaction and we are all good i enjoyed it so much uh, i'm going to do this again punching mega sloths is clearly the way forward with a bunch of people <laughs> who don't have better weapons <laughs> this is mean isn't it <laughs> oh boy come on then, let's do this punch him uh, hello, Rims. Right, we got it. We did it scot free last time, so we can do that again. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Huber only picked up some bumps. <laughs> this is great. I love it. All right, that was hilarious. Now there's another one just around the way here. Um, it's marky to be hunted, actually. <laughs> Hyper and Zhang looking on with some amusement. It's going to uh, make sure he melee attacks the uh, Mega Sloth to death to finish him. Uh, we're going to go over here now. Hilarious. Right, Shang, come with me.
Come on, Hyper, get on with it. Ah, right, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. All right, rinse and repeat. How many times can we get away with it? I'm not sure, but it's fun to find out. What I don't need to do is mess this up and get him to attack my my main guys in the first place. I don't want that. Beautiful. Everyone move up. Awesome. So Huber got... Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, Huber. I should have interest. Nervous tough. Okay. Uh, Haruto? Uh, nothing Nothing wrong. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, good job. Pretty much. We are going to all now shoot this thing. You guys can go. In fact, one of you can stay. Drake, do you do hauling? You do do hauling. Right. You can all go apart from Drake. Perfect. So that is going to be enough. Enough to. Um, oh, Fruto, sorry, you can go. Uh, enough leather to make some nice dusters with. I reckon. I think you can get two dusters and a half. No, one duster and a half out of two mega sloths. I can't remember. Anyway, it's going to be good nonetheless. So, uh, yeah. Punching mega sloths. <laughs> it's the new craze on the rim. All right, we've had a quest come up to. Um, smack an outlaw camp, the night saws. Now the night saws are um, not tribals. So this means that um, we may be able to get some good weapons out of it. But more importantly, we can get hyperweave and camp loot. Well, obviously, hyperweave, a power claw, and plastic will advance components. Hyperweave could be quite useful. Um, I could make trousers with that or a button down shirt. I think trousers are 40. Not enough for a duster, unfortunately, but Hyperweave is not to be sniffed at. That's pretty good. So I am going to sort that out. And I've just spotted marine armour that we bought and no one's wearing. Why is nobody wearing the marine armour? Hang on a minute. That was being worn by one of the gang. Hang on. Just one second. Oh, yeah, right. It's because the combination of flak vest and a jacket is better, can be better than marine armour. With marine armor, you either wear the marine armor and nothing, or those two together. So I think that's what's happened. They've decided that's better armor than the marine armor. Okay, that's cool. Well, we can save that for a, like a, a new starter or somebody. So that actually works out all right. Um, anyway, so we're going to go and take we're going to take that quest absolutely. What we're going to accept for? I think the hyperweave actually. Power claw is. I mean, it's okay, but I can get those again. Hyperweave is harder to get hold of than the power claw. So I'm going to take the hyperweave. How long have we got? So, 26 days. Perfect. Oh, I didn't see how far away it was. That's a bit of a drag. How, please don't tell me it's miles away. I should have checked. Huh. Hang on a sec. Let's have a quick look. Outlaw camp. Jump to bandit camp. Oh, okay. That's fine. We're, we're going to ride there anyway. We've got enough horses. <laughs> it's going to be absolutely fine. So, 0.4 days on, on, on horseback. Okay. Five enemies. I hope you've got good weapons. Okay, we've just been allowing people to get over breaks and whatnot, and we're about to uh, <laughs> set out and raid this uh, uh, raid this quest quest outlaw camp. When we've got uh, the Algunth Mech Hive, their their transport pods have been scattered all over the place, which means they're landing inside our perimeter. Well, one is anyway. The others are landing outside. Okay. First thing that we need to do then is put the animals into safe. Pet safe, we get everybody inside the perimeter. I should pay special attention to Hyde Goon, who's got somebody landing right next to him. What's the best way? Down here and through there, or over here and down? Mm, this way is longer, but it's ultimately slightly safer. He's got more cover coming this way. I think he's got time to get into here, I reckon. Just about. Right, where are the others dropping? So one's dropping up out here. One's dropping there, one's dropping there, and those are dropping well outside. Good, they're split up. That means we have a, a much better chance of um, of getting them. Um, let's, as I said, let's get everybody inside. I'm going to unselect Hide Goon and get everybody to come. I'm trying to get it mob-handed, really. What we will do, 
they will come through the traps here which is good they will come through the traps let me just hold that open i'll get zhang to go there actually just make sure they get sucked through here as well okay that's hold open too okay let's apart from hide goon and zhang let's get everybody centralized let's see what we can do oops did i nope that's fine hide goon it's coming back in well the animals are going to their safe Right, see what happens. Right, hide goons inside. Good. Galette's inside. Good. Good, good, good. What is it? Oh, okay. Right, he's the Lancer. Scyther. Uh, Lancer. These two haven't opened up yet. Doesn't matter. We've got enough on our plate. So, this one's the first one we're going to have to take care of. Uh, not that much of an issue, frankly, because these guys are not that scary. Once you get to melee combat, he's going to sit there and watch for targets, is he? Okay. Right, what have we got? He's coming in as well. He's coming in as well. I mean, the trap's going to take care of these chumps, so not much to worry about, I don't think. Is he going to move closer? Great. Let's move these guys up to here in a line. Oh, Lisa and Sabata taking their time coming in. Gosh. Okay, that's all right. Right, at least get in. Sabata, LMG. He's not going to make it through these traps. There's just no way in a million years that he's going to make it. Meanwhile, we're going to rush these guys out. If we can punch a Mega Sloth, we can, we can punch one of these things, honestly speaking. Not at least. <laughs> Let's go. He's going to stop. Oh, he did he trigger one? He didn't trigger one. No, he did trigger one. Ah, I see what's happened. It hasn't uh, redrawn it because it's not in my home home area. So it hasn't uh, gone for the option to... to uh, set it up to be made again so he got one crack and disappeared that's interesting okay maybe he's coming around okay right he's coming down i don't give him the opportunity to fire so i'm just going to wait up here with zhang these guys are rushing this dude who seems to be intent on attacking he's just gonna get punched a lot this is all um blunt damage <laughs> so it's actually it's actually quite effective <laughs> All right, cool. So that's um, these guys. This one's coming in through the, the traps. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, this one's going to come in as well. He'll get taken care of. That's fine. Zhang's waiting for him, if not. Um, this guy's going down around. That's okay. We're getting rid of that one. How's this going, by the way? <laughs> these guys are excellent. <laughs> Must, um, I'm getting quite fond of these traps. <laughs> they don't need weapons. Uh, so he's coming down. Uh, we've got a pikeman and we've got another. Okay, fine. This is going to be pretty straightforward. All right, let's reset. Um, you guys can go inside. Get out of the rain. Don't get wet, do you? I see. Hilarious. Perfect image desired. Perfect image. This requires only if Kane's Lupus is your faction's primary ideology or the three believers. Okay. In order to uh, dignify perfect image, these rooms require to be all flawed, no beds allowed, no work facilities allowed. What? What, throughout the whole colony? Kane Supers requires you have a perfect image in your colony as long as expectations are moderate or higher. It's only at these room requirements must be met. Huh? I don't know what it's asking for. I need to go and research that because that makes absolutely no sense. You're telling me that I've got to have that throughout my whole base or just have one room which meets that requirement? Hmm, I'll be back. Well, okay, I'll have to deal with that another time. It's not really coming up with anything. But if it means that I can't have... What? I can't have... No, I can't have any beds or work facilities in the whole colony or in one room. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Anyway, we've got bigger fish to fight. We've got, we've got mechs. All right, so let's just deal with the mechs first. All right, so this, this guy's coming in. Is he going to survive too? Choppity chop. One, two, three, four. Really? Damn. <laughs> Get running, Zhang. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. <laughs> That's nuts. Oh, wow. That's insane. That also didn't re rebuild. That's odd. Okay. Hmm. Those toggle, but this didn't. Okay, whatever. All right, so Zhang's waiting there. Uh, Right, so we've got uh, a Lancer coming around and we've got two pikemen. Now the Lancer is going to have to be met by Zhang as he comes around the corner. Zhang and some other friends, of course, so we'll get coffee and Sabata over here as well. 
I think, in fact, they're all going to come around, aren't they? Let's let's get everybody to meet them for fun, fun and frolics. Um, these guys can go here. These guys can come here. At least they're spending their time in a nice place. Uh, Elise can go on about her business. Which we can move. Uh, let's not move that for now. Yora can come down as well. Join off as Sammy. Oh, okay. Sammy believes he's happy at Calibre and Surge. wants to join you permanently. Oh, thanks, Sammy. What's, what have you about you? Fast learner, misogynist, neurotic. Yeah, I mean, I can I can deal with this, I suppose. Fast, fast learner's really handy. <gasps> social 10. Oh, social 10. Oh, yes. He's actually... He's actually quite tasty, apart from... The, well, apart from the <laughs> misogynist and neurotic. Apart from those two traits, he's actually quite tasty. Hmm. Okay, Sammy. I'm good with that. Very good indeed. Yep, going to accept. Good timing. And we... Uh, he's already he's ready on our IDO, lovely. And in the name of... A uh, name in the game, Styly, we are going to call... Sammy Ethermech. Boink. So, welcome Ethermech. Got loads of new recruits. So Ethermech, I think you, you need to go and um, arm yourself properly. Get some good weapons and stuff. Melee 9, perfect. We have a sword just waiting for you. Um, we'll do your work stuff later. Why don't you pop on some decent clothes? I think there's a spare flak vest as well waiting for you. Ah, you're welcome. It's fine. It's fine. Hide can come down here as well. Alright, let's run this forward then. Speed it up. Here he comes. He's probably going to stop inside and fire isn't he if i move these guys to back here maybe he'll come forward a little bit more come on don't stop in the doorway that's just annoying perfect <laughs> fine oh come on these pipe oh what's elise doing no 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 elise now you got absolutely no armor whatsoever that's totally my fault what's the chance of being here oh dear 14%. Oh, 14%. Yeah, but RNG, man. Ouch. Sorry, Elise. Get yourself patched up. It's all good. That's it. You go to bed. Alright. Let's 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 go and wreck this. I oh, can't wait for him to come. It's going to take too long. Oh. <laughs> We've got a door to nowhere. <sighs> Alright, come on. Let's go. Come on, everybody. Out we go. Walking along the traps. Zhang's in the days. Dip. Right. I'm done with um, Zhang's depression. I should have done this sooner. What's he going to do? Is he going to smash things up? I mean, what's he gonna... It doesn't matter. Zhang is going to get um, the joy wire installed. Because I'm done with that. Um, install joy wire. I should have done this a long time ago. So Zhang's going to be on the good stuff. We have got some medicine. We brought it back with us. Have we unpacked the horses? We have. So the medicine should be in stock. Which it is. Perfect. Alright. So he's going to get joy wire installed. He's going to be a little bit off his head most of the time, but that's the way that joy wire works. All right, all right, come on in. Down we come. You guys as well. You are going to punch it in the style that you just got really good at this. The five of you now, <laughs> rather than six. After Chris had a, a sulk and went off the bottom of the map. Move you guys back. Move you guys along here. I think. Oh god, this takes so long. Come on, speed up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ethermech is doing his thing already. Beautiful. Alright, and you guys go. And you guys come out of the corner. Get wrecked, my friends. <laughs> one more. <laughs> What's the last one doing? Why is nobody going in this way? Oh, it's because there's no route, is there? Ah, that's right. There's no route in. There's no open door. I should have left this one open. Okay. Um... I might be able to do that. If, uh, where is it? Yeah, Ethermech. Perfect. If you just come to here, that was totally my bad. I should have. I should have realised that. If I do that, it might might make him turn around in time. And donk. Okay. Cool. Good stuff. Thank you. Milking. Oh, we we had a we had a boom uh, a boom luck join us. So of course he's going to be called okay. <laughs> Hopefully you get the reference. No, he hasn't changed his mind. Ethermech, where are you going? Oh no, okay, fine. All right, these things take so, so long. Extreme break risk, who's that? 
Alistair. Oh, there's a few people. Alistair's really going to go, isn't he? Just have some food. You're not you when you're hungry. Lovely. Who else is... No, there's just major break risks. Good grief. Oh, I should finish these doors, really, shouldn't I? I always do the back door first, so I don't want to leave a gap. Um, what have we got a lot of? Granite, of course. Of course you want to make doors out of granite, don't you? Uh, granite door. Yes, and yes. And probably some at the top have got the same situation. No, I was actually clever up there, and I put doors in. I need to put doors in the side here, don't I, really? Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's put door in there, there, oops, put in there and there, and then build a copy, and a granite door. Perfect. All right, anyway, back to the action. Oh, he's, oh, he's changed his mind. Oh, my God. All right, fine. Guys, just crack on. This thing's going to take its time, <laughs> clearly. So bad as a day, he's minor pain. Oh, my elbow aches. <laughs> No, he's no, he's coming back. <laughs> Everyone's like, you know what? You're not scary. Just whatever. Prosthetics. Woohoo! We're knocking this research out now. This is fantastic. All right, we are going to build Yura an arm. Meanwhile, I think what's going to open up the most doors for us if we get it. Let's have a look. Water mod generator. We don't need IEDs. Not really. Sterile materials. Um, not so much. Tube TV, no. Nutri paste, no. Fire foam, no. Geothermal. We're not struggling for power, quite honestly. We're, we're living quite lean in terms of power. Mortars, gas. It's got to be gas operation. And then we'll do microelectronics. Right. Okay. How do you make prosthetics? Is it the machining table? I think it is. Make. For heaven's sake. If there's. Ah. Uh. Right, Ethermec, just come around the corner, bud. What's your chance of getting hit? All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make everybody stay inside the perimeter. I'll be back. All right, it's actually night time by the time he's uh, he's managed to work his way around. We've given up. We've just lost interest. He, we, we actually rebuilt the traps. <laughs> well, there we go. What a lot of fuss. Honestly. All right, let's re let's uh, reallow that door, and we will put everyone back on unrestricted. That's so so silly. Animals can go back to being pets. All right, cool. There we go. That wasn't much of a mech threat, really, was it? All right, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much uh, for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Lots of rain at the moment. A bit of a rainy summer we're getting. Um, yeah, things are going actually pretty well. Cooking on gas. Uh, we've got um, you know really good trade deals coming from the animals a good source of food we've got a decent amount of hunting bit of a bottleneck on the cooking i think so we're gonna in fact we've run out of food completely got some pemmican left that's not gonna last very long each person takes 20 we've got a lot of people three six nine twelve fifteen with f have i got 10 colonists already wow that's insane hmm. okay uh, yeah, so we've got to start making food tomorrow. That's my that's my kind of uh, my focus. We made the food. We're then going to go and um, do this raid over here, bandit camp, and uh, then we, then we're finally going to do this. I kind of want these guys to either leave, turn traitor, or join us before we raid this camp. I don't want to leave too many people at home if they're going to turn traitor at the worst time. So anyway, we'll see. There we go. You take care. Have a great. Uh, Great evening, great morning, great day, wherever you may be. I'll catch you on the next episode, but now this is Bug, pulling the plug.